so guys as we can all see that the tucano jets fight a uh, fighter jet has been causing trouble here and there because the nigerian government has already gone to the u.s to purchase this uh, tucano jet and we know what exactly they are supposed to use it for but because of the way things have been going in the country injustice here and there and the federal government is not even sincere we have seen a lot of times that where they are supposed to concentrate where the military are supposed to concentrate on to do the right thing they will look the other way and go to where it's really peaceful which we all know and that was why i pop in the first place i quickly went to the u.s and asked them not to sell this tucano fighter jet to the nigerian government but as they will have it they they were sold they they were able to buy it and the u.s government was able to sell it to them at the end of the day the u.s government has said we want you to use it only in the north because that was why you said you want to buy this old thing and of course we know that there's been this insurgency in the north right from time so if you are going to use it in that area make sure you use it because they have been getting complaints here and there and it's been back and forth at times you hear some people they will tell you oh they should not even mind ipop they should do this they should do that and right now the whole thing has gotten into court they've taken the matter to court in the u.s that is to tell you that these guys are really pushing hard and again oanezi has come out to say that the attorney general of the federation malami is lobbying so that this tucano fighter jet will be brought to southeast and which people have been talking about and when people make some statements it's not as if they are making it out of greed or out of sentiment it is what we have experienced and witnessed in this country the injustice that we are seeing now is is not even hidden and now ipop wins first round in u.s courts and that is a good one wins first round some of the fighter jets had been delivered some have not been delivered and the u.s government has already warned them that don't take it to where you are not supposed to take it to because that was the agreement and i'm sure by the time it gets to nigeria they want to do whatever they want to do with it i think a lot of people especially the bia france will be so happy you know to hear this god bless mazen namdekano oma dk god bless biafra nation we will continue to win against nigeria which is a terrorist state soon all those a 29 super tucano aircraft shall be returned to the u.s and ipop told nigeria that they will teach her a lesson as this is not 1967 but 2021 nigeria has expired since 2014 god bless biafra which means um the issue is that the evidence to win Nigeria in everything is there. Nigeria government herself knows that it can't enter any court with IPOP and win Nigeria government already caused uh, damage. There are, of course, damage here and there. IPOP will always win. The voice of the people, the same IPOP Buhari prescribed, what a country. <clears throat> you are prescribing a whole tribe as a terrorist and you want to conduct elections in the same zone. Shame to a failed government in power. Yes, of course, we always win. Chuku is with us, and at the end, Biafra will stand. Saying at the end, Biafra will stand. I pop the voice of the voiceless. God is with them. They are called for the jobs they are doing. God bless Biafra. On the next one, please, what is the next line of action? Because we are carrying flags. Buhari call us terrorists because, but. They are begging him now to call bandit terrorists. You see life? <laughs> begging him. Of course, that is this, uh, I think that is this lawmakers or that is this, uh, whatever. They have come and to say, declare these people terrorists. One thing is for them to be declared terrorists. Another thing is for them to be dealt with. We see the ones that have been declared terrorists. How far have they gone with them? Who is winning? Because to me, the Boko Haram are winning. Not that the Nigerian army cannot do it. They are competent. I was telling somebody that, oh, you know this uh, new newspaper, this uh, UK uh, magazine that's really blast Buhari and the Nigerian army that they are incompetent. And somebody said, no, Nigerian, gov Nigerian army are not incompetent. But it is the political way, you know, just like Fela sang that zombie, they just 
they hear go they know they hear come anywhere they are has to go they will do it and that is why you see that it baffles a lot of people the security agencies you it baffles nigerians that they are the most affected and yet when they see people even protesting on their behalf they don't look they still want to intimidate the people who are supposed to be fighting for them because like they always say obey the last command or the last order it's, it's baffling so it is not as if they are not competent but the power that be if they ask to, to, to do this they will do it but the question is as our uh, security agencies are they not supposed to be independent just like a uh, supposed to be independent just like uh, the judiciary is supposed to be in independent but it's a it's a different thing altogether a different thing altogether and that is why you see that it's as if they are not really competent and they cannot do what they are supposed to do in my opinion it is not even it is not even the right thing for the president to be the one that will choose all of those critical parastata all of those key departments it is not in the place of the the, the president that is why they say the, the, the president is too powerful but i still believe that in a, in a situation whereby the system is strong because what we have in nigeria is that only one man is stronger than the system if we have system that is strong no matter what even if the president nominates anybody but you have to respect the constitution but these guys they don't respect the constitution they respect only one person who happens to be the president if another person comes it's still going to be the same it's not that only because Buhari is there but because he's mis is misusing mis misusing the power given to him that is why we are seeing all of these things so it is just unfortunate really really unfortunate where we are found ourselves and that is the language we are always using very very unfortunate because me i'm always using very what can we say because when a situation has got into a stage whereby you cannot even you can't even cry what do you do you'll be laughing because you cannot come and kill yourself but that does not mean that the one we relent in talking not the one we relent in talking so how far are we going to go how far are we are we going to go with this kind of a mess that we have found ourselves? Oh, hey, Biafra. Namdekano must eat the fruit of his labor by the grace of Chukokike. Hmm. Have you seen any IPOP member convicted for any crime? We continue to win because we are not terrorists. Of course, they are not terrorists. We, we know they are not terrorists. You know, I used to say, Say it before. Nam the Kano that used to go from one country to another. Why is it that this guy, they never arrested him? Somebody who is a terrorist, you think they will not get his background? They will not know what they do. They would. They wouldn't have found out or done investigation concerning what they do. And he, he was moving from one country to another. We are not talking about a year, a year country. So you know, now he came to Africa now, in Kenya. See what happened, because the continent itself is sick. The continent is sick.